This is Alan Weinkrantz. I'm here in Herzliya, Israel with John Medved. John is CEO of uh, Ringo, a publicly traded company. And uh, John, you guys pretty much created this market called uh, Video Ringtones. That's correct. So tell us a little bit about, uh, we'll do two separate interviews, but tell us a little about Israel's startup economy. Sure. Um, I Israel is an unbelievable place for startups. If you look at the world, and you say, okay, there are, you know, really two big poles in a bipolar universe for startups. One is Silicon Valley, the other is Israel. Israel each year produces 400 to 500 venture-backed startups. To give you an idea of how big that is, there are 7 million people here in Israel. The 700 million people in Europe produce less than 1,000 startups. So literally, this is Startup Central. Even America produces about 2,000 venture-backed startups, 2,500. So we're about 20% of the total American output. The only difference is, I wish we were 20% of the American population. We're only 7 million people. So this is Startup Central. Um, every major American tech company is buying Israeli startups. Whether it was Facebook buying Snap2 just a couple of weeks ago, Google buying all kinds of companies, eBay, Yahoo, Cisco who bought uh, nine companies at last count over the last decade, IBM, Microsoft, Broadcom, Kodak, I mean, everybody buys Israeli startups. Hard to find a major American or world player in technology who isn't building key parts of their technology here in Israel. Intel has 7,000 employees in, in Israel. So the, the scene here is very, very vibrant. It's very exciting. It's very much like Silicon Valley in terms of the culture. It's a culture of risk acceptance, a culture of immigrants, a culture of informality, and of uh, you know acceptance and tolerance for failure, which is really a key element in building startups. Um, it's a lot of fun. There's a big social community here involved in startups, which uh, you, Alan, are a, a part of and, and, and see it. And your friend Jeff Pulver is a part of. You can you know, come to Israel and literally in a matter of weeks network with the key people who are in the startup area, meet them at various parties or conferences, and uh, you know, get to work. And I think that you know, it's not without reason that we've become known as the startup nation. That book has had a huge resonance, by the way, 100,000 copies of this book, Startup Nation. And the story of Israel's economic miracle is already in print. It's being translated into 10 different languages. And the world is really starting to understand that Israel is the place to come to outside of Silicon Valley for technology startups. Um, the other is, you know, one of my observations obviously is rather than having to fly all over the United States from Silicon Valley to New York to Atlanta to Dallas to Seattle, you can literally drive in between. Tel Aviv, Jerusalem, Beersheba, Haifa, and you know, with yeah, a this is a very small country. In yeah. other words, from a geographical standpoint, you could actually superimpose a map of Israel over the Bay Area. Right. So everyone talks about Silicon Valley, but the reality is there's startups in you know south of Market in San Francisco, all the way down to below San Jose. But that's roughly the same size as Israel. So when you go from north to south here, it's you know two or three hours at, at best. East to west is an hour. It's a very small, geographically compact region, but what's amazing about it, for example, is that Google has two research and development centers in Israel. One in Tel Aviv is not enough. They have to have one in Haifa, too, <laughs> which is only an hour and a half up the road. Yeah. Okay, so that, you know, we are geographically compact, but we're also very, very dense in terms of the amount of innovation and startups uh, that are getting, getting moving. Thank you very much.